What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. We're going to jump straight into things today. As you can see, I picked up Agra or yeah, Agra for 48,750. I was having a lot of fun with buying and selling these Portuguese league players because they were like, as I explained in the previous video, they were just fluctuating so much. You can see on the market here, I picked him up for 48,000 and his cheapest was like almost 60,000 there. So I listed him up for 55k. He eventually sold and made nice, uh, nice extra like 5k or so profit. And um, we're at the Liga team of the season now, of course, by the time you're watching this video. Uh, I think you're going to get this on Sunday, I do believe, Sunday. So we've already been a few days in. And you can see the Rafa price there, guys. I sold my Rafa for cheap and uh, he went basically extinct. And there's still a lot of them now whilst the Liga's out, but they've kind of held their price a little bit. So as you can see, we have built our La Liga team for the La Liga tournament. Of course, I want to win it. I want to win that Ruben Castro. He doesn't look amazing, and his in-game stats look terrible. Um, you know, he's got like, like he's got okay finishing, but really poor long shots, really poor volleys. Only got three star skill moves. But I still want to try him and test him out. And you'll see here, we sold a whole bunch of those Matthews. I cashed out on Matthew and Pepe at the right time. As soon as La Liga was announced at three o'clock on Friday. I cashed out instantly and you can see I sold PZ, I lost money on PZ, I bought him for 55k, I sold him for 53k, so I lost about 5k after tax. I sold all the other guys there and I've got three Matthews left. Now, as you can see, we've got about 290,000 coins in the bank, we've got three Matthews on the trade pile and we've got about five pages, four or five pages worth of other investments that will sell for anywhere between 80 and 100,000 coins. So now... Now it's risk, like risk time. You know, we buy Adarese because I really wanted to buy him. He's there for 140,000 coins. He's very fresh. We put him into the team. Adarese is just the main man. He's 91 rated. And who would have thought that we would have got a 91 rated team in a season for a road to glory? But not only that, I also, guys, went and bought Bruno, who I picked up for 78,000 coins. I think I picked that one up for 78,000 coins. He's currently going for about 85,000 coins, maybe even 88,000 coins. And um, I, I actually sold him, you'll see at the end of the video, for 85,000 coins. So I made a few, a few thousand coins profit on him as well. It's risky for me right now, right? Because we've got a good team, but there's a lot of really nice La Liga team of the season players out. And what I want to do is experience as many as possible in one team and start building towards our end game team because La Liga is the, is the like the competition for me, the, the, the league for me. And even though the City A and League One team of the season is going to be coming and the rest of the world team of the season and the, uh, um, the EASFC team of the season, I want to build the best La Liga team possible by the end of the game. That is going to mean buying players like Neymar, Bale, the Adderies that we've got, the midfield and the defence. Now, there's certain things about the defence that are interesting. The 92 Danny Alves for me is the best right back in the game. He's relatively cheap. We can actually afford him, but we would be have, we'd have to get rid of like most of our other good players. And I don't know if having one superstar in the team, I don't know if it's smart having it as the right back. You know, like as good as he is as a right back, as we score our first goal with Bruno there, I don't know if that's the guy that I want. We could go and get Carver Howe, who's about 130k right now, who's also got an incredible card. Or we could get Juan Fran, who at the time of making this video is like 65k, as we score an insane debut goal with Adariz. But the thing that I worry about, because of like based on the BPL, based on the Bundesliga, and based on the uh, like the um, the Portuguese league and such, the longer I wait, it seems the better it will get for me for value. Like I don't want to buy uh, uh, like let's say I bought Juan Fran today for 65,000 coins. I'd be so furious if in three or four days time because of the amount of lightning rounds that came out he was worth 40,000 coins so I'm very scared and very skeptical right now to be spending money on these players um I definitely want to wait out through the weekend to see if there are any lightning rounds wait for the next team of the season to come out where they're in packs at the same time and um wait to see how how cheap they go you know because I don't want to like I bought Adderies for 140,000 I can honestly see his price dropping below 100,000 just because he's not a desirable player for a lot of players in Ultimate Team. He doesn't have great pace, he doesn't have four-star skill moves, he hasn't got a name like Suarez or Griezmann, you know, he's just Adarese. But we had a great game with him in the first game, we scored two goals with him, we scored a goal with Bruno as well, we go 3-1 into the second round. Of course, I've got those coin boosts on now, so it's gonna give us a whole bunch of uh, awesome extra coins. And we move into the second round, we've got no contracts left on Vea, but um, like, in the same breath of what we could do as a right backs, we could buy like we could buy Felipe Luis, we could buy Marcelo, we could afford Mascherano, we can afford team of the season or team of the year Modric 
We can afford a Gareth Bale. We can afford a regular Neymar. We can afford that striker Perez card. Like, we can basically afford anyone that we want now, with the exception of the extreme players. We can't afford that team of the season Griezmann. We can't afford team of the season Benzema. We can't afford the Suarez, the Ronaldos, the Messis, the Neymars, the, like, the special versions. But I don't know if I really care about that. I just want to build a team that I'm going to enjoy playing with that's also going to have a whole bunch of team of the season players in it. And that may well be for me picking up uh, like team of the season Hulk because his card's going to be insane. And now maybe playing like team of the season Jonas at striker and then Neymar at left wing because I think that would be a really good team to build. I'm also not bothered about playing players off chem because um, it doesn't really matter, especially when they're that high rated. So there's going to be a lot of chopping and changing over the next week or so with teams and players. There's going to be a lot of buying and selling. And there w may well be a few mistakes. I may well invest in a player or just buy a player to use. Like I bought this Bruno to use. By the time I finished using him, I could have uh, I could have lost coins on him. As we scored another goal with Adariz there in the, on the stroke of half time to make it 3-0. And then just after this guy kicked off, I picked the ball up again. Lovely ball roll from Hesse into Adariz. Ball, uh, roulette from Adariz back into Hesse. Hesse plays it back through to Adariz who shoots, scores off the post and makes it 4-0. And uh, Adariz is amazing, but... As I say, like I bought this Bruno and I was so worried that even by the time I finished playing in this tournament, he would have dropped 20, 30, 40k because the player prices are just so erratic. Like it's so hard to predict the market this year and I don't know where things are going. So I'm probably going to like buy a player, use him and sell him. And then after either La Liga team of the season or after the entire team of the season, be like, okay, so this is the coins we've got. These are the players. The prices aren't going to change much from now on. Let's invest in the players we want. Of course, the last thing I want to do, though, is buy, like, one or two marquee players. Like, th th this is the other problem. Let's say we buy Adarese and Koke, because Koke looks great, and we can afford them both. So we've got Adarese and Koke. We've got our, you know, our good, not great La Liga team around them. You know, Re Ramos, Pepe, a couple of good fullbacks, nice goalkeeper. Um, Koke, uh, Modric, and James Rodriguez in the midfield, which is decent, and we went and bought ourselves a James Rodriguez as well. Um, Hesse and Veya on the wings now it's difficult to get to that next stage again it's going to be really difficult to find the funds to buy a Gareth Bale at 80,000 coins or buy a Neymar at 130,000 coins where are these coins going to come from so we're going to have to find um, find some new ways to invest because as predicted everyone buying the players and stacking and stocking on them has ruined it it's ruined the uh, the trading investing for the team of the seasons Everyone knows now that next week is going to be La Liga and sorry, League on and City are, which means they've already stacked up and stocked up on players. Which means when it drops, everyone's going to release those players. The prices are going to plummet. They're going to bottom out, and that's why I got lucky to get rid of my Pepe's and Matthews when I did because right now I wouldn't make that much profit on them. And it's the same with any other investments you guys have had. Like everyone's just done it too much, and that's not just because of my videos, although they have had an impact. There are lots of trading. Uh, Websites out there, Twitter accounts like oldmyteam.co.uk, Foothead even like recommending players to buy. Um, there's there's Instagram accounts, there's streamers and YouTubers that make videos on how to do it. Um, so you know there's there's obviously a lot of influence like on Reddit and the forums where they say go buy this player now because he's good. And for example, one of those is Lucas. Lucas is one of those players that will be the best right midfielder for you in the league on tournament. So a lot of people are probably stacked up on him. And that's going to drive his price up. And uh, as I made a mistake in the last video, if 100 people bought 100 of him, that's 10,000 Lucas that have been taken from the market and that are going to get flooded onto the market at the exact same time come the team of the season when it drops. So it's, um, it's risky right now to, to invest. It's risky to buy and sell. It's risky to do anything. But at the same time, there's no point having a whole bunch of coins in the account and being scared to buy a player because what's like you want to play with players so for me like Adarese is definitely a player I want to play with but I don't want to like I don't want to buy him for 140k now and then in two three weeks he'd be like 80k and me be like god damn that's 60,000 coins that I could have bought another team of the season player with so I want to make sure I buy at the right time um, and I don't necessarily know when that is 
Now, anyway, guys, we end up winning the uh, the game there 3-2. I do believe that was the semi-final. In between the second round and the third round, I will leave the spreadsheet spreadsheet link in the description this time. I know I forgot last episode. Um, I played an offline game to get a boost of fitness, which is where we get a win from and some points from. And uh, look at that goal from Adarese, man. His finishing is so good. It's so clinical. And I absolutely loved and love playing with him. And uh, this is the team we've got now. So Rakitic is now out of contracts. Um, I do bring a lot of subs on now, especially in these tournaments, because uh, I try so hard, I sprint so much, that I end up draining my players, and it's uh, not always the best thing to do. But the team we've got is really, really nice. I, I do like that Bruno card, and he is relatively cheap, but I think the Koke card might just be a little bit above, you know, might be a step above. But as we're going into the final again, guys, obviously... I've got some attribute cards, I've got a lot of goalkeeper ones, not so many uh, regular player ones. They're only bronze, there's not many all attribute cards either. Um, so we are going to add them on. In retrospect, I should have sold those two training cards, the plus three all attribute cards, because they go for like 300 coins each. And although when you've got 300,000 coins in the bank, 600 coins isn't much, it's still something. I didn't get to 300,000 coins by just burning 600 coins as and when I please. However... Winning a team of the season card for the you know for the the small cost of these training cards and contracts, I'm definitely happy with that. Definitely happy with that. So we end up adding an attributes card to everyone to the attribute that I thought they needed the most. So for like James Rodriguez, for example, I gave him. I think I gave him shooting. That's just because he's long. Like he always gets in really good shooting positions, and he bangs them in. We added. Uh, I think I think we added the plus three to Bruno. We did add the plus three to Bruno. To Modric, we added pace. Modric doesn't necessarily need pace, but it makes him a more complete, well-rounded player. Maybe we could have added physical for Modric as well. Would have done him a little bit better, but uh, it's not the end of the world. We have passing to Veya because Veya is probably the next card I want to get rid of. I probably want to uh, pick up Gareth Bale, who right now is going for 80,000 coins. Gareth Bale would be a great addition to the team. Um, he'd obviously be a superstar in the team, and I'm so disappointed he didn't get a team of the season card. But hey, that's FIFA for you. Hesse there. Hesse is not one I really care about trading out too soon. Like... I would like Neymar there eventually, but Hesse does such a good job in this game. Like, I call him the cheap Ronaldo in so many videos because he genuinely is. He feels big, tall, strong. He feels rapid. His shooting is fantastic. The four-star, four-star is so helpful. And for a guy who's as cheap as he is and as low-rated as he is, he plays like an absolute dream. We then go and add an attribute cards to Adariz. We gave him dribbling just to help him with that ball control. And we make our way, guys into the final with that team right there on the screen and our final opponent has got a 4-3-3-4 team uh interesting team Conor Plianka, Bove and uh um Veya he's got Koke, Isco and uh Kovacic there a really nice defense and the only thing that I did see his team and think a bit meh was um his his midfield was just a little bit weak uh you know Koke Isco and Kovacic not the strongest and we end up bullying off his midfielders a little bit there down the left hand side into Modric Modric plays into Hesse Hesse is in the box in the perfect position shoots and scores and after just two minutes we go 1-0 up it took us until the 72nd minute to get the next goal the ball here falls to me on the edge of the box with Bruno I could have taken a shot there I played it into Adariz a fake shot shoots and scores and Adariz has just paid back every coin that we paid for him with those goals that he scored in this tournament you know He's ended up scoring, I think, uh, five goals at this point. And this is his sixth. It falls to Hesse. It hits Adariz in his butt and flings into the back of the net to make it 3-0 after 80 minutes. And my opponent stopped playing around the 85th minute. So I started padding the stats with Adariz. Uh, we won the tournament. And, you know, we invested some nice coins in this. And we get ourselves our third untradeable team of the season. We have now got Hoof. We have now got Sane, we have now got Ruben Castro, and I can't wait to go and get the fourth, fifth, and potentially sixth or seventh one and have ourselves a whole bunch of untradeable team of the season players. It will be a lot of fun to build squads around those. So there you can see, guys, on the screen right now, winners of the La Liga BBVA team of the season is, uh, is us. When you win it the second time, you get a pack and Rakitic, and I think the third time is... Uh, let me actually go and have a look. I can't remember precisely what the... Uh, what the um, what the last one is? Just get, get, play, play, this is, just keep watching the video. Just keep watching the video. So the third one, you get. Um, so the second one is a rare gold pack on Rakitic, and the third win is a premium coins pack on Isco. Now Isco and Rakitic are untradeable, but it'll be nice to have them in the squad. I've already actually got um, Rakitic untradeable, so Isco will be good. But I definitely want to go and win the rare gold pack this time. 
You know, I haven't won it for a few of the times, but I do want to go and win it this time. Now, I went and sold Bruno, as I said before. I saw a few of his uh, bids there for 82, 83K. So I listed him up for 85K. And because it's late at night, I listed him up for three hours because people don't tend to relist players late at night. So I figured once those one hour ones at 82, 83 had run out, they wouldn't get relisted or maybe only one or two of them would, which would actually just raise his price momentarily through the evening. So I listed him for 85K. He did end up eventually selling. So uh, this is the team here so far, guys. This is the end of the video. We win ourselves Ruben Castro, which is great. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace. Wow, I hiccuped. <laughs>